It's not teaching a child in the way he should go and, you know, with morals. It's all about the more money you give to the church, God's going to bless you with money later on in life. And that's not the way it works, you know. If, you, if you're expecting something in return, you're going to, you're going to be disappointed every time and you're going to believe whatever that, whatever, wherever you got those beliefs, you're gonna, it's going to fail you. Yeah. So, you know, I tell my children, you do for other people what you can do for them and love them regardless of where they're from or who they are. You just, you always love them. And if, even if they don't return the love to you, your job is to continue to love anyway. It's the sincerity. Right? Yeah. And that's, that's the way we live around here. I mean, lots of people don't understand how, you know, I can accept anybody into my home. I mean, you've seen the kids come over. And it doesn't matter what background they're from. They come here. They, have, they feel peaceful here. They know they're accepted without judgment. And we have a good time. We really do. Uh, Loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Yeah. That's the biggest. That's the essence. Yeah. That accept one. people who, uh, for who they are without judgment and allow them to you know just you and you love them in spite of themselves if they, you may not agree with everything they they you know say or do or believe in but inside we're still human beings that and we're supposed to accept each other and love each other for who they are who we are I mean she's she's a perfect example she I mean she lived in LA she saw the materialistic side of life yeah. and she saw saw you know she's she hung out with you know people that are are um, by the world standards very um, celebrity yeah. and and she, she said, Mom, she goes, they have all the money that they need. They have as much money, but they're still unhappy. And, she, and for her to be able to see that on her own was very, it was very yeah, life-changing for me because I was finally, I was happy that she was able to see that herself and realize that money and having anything you want at, the, at your fingertips was not what makes you happy. You have nothing without God, nothing. Yeah. I'm sitting here today because of God. They spend so much time trying to you know, convert you to one religion or another, yeah. and there, and love is not part of it. Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem. There's no love without, you know, there's just no love there. It's like, if you don't want to believe us, then, or believe what we believe, then... You're in hell. You know, yeah. That's not what, that's not what Jesus taught when he was on earth. No. no he was, un he loved unconditionally, no matter what. And, you know, I just feel like they spend so much time on the religious part of it and forget that there's the the most important the underlying problem is the lack of of love and you know that's where peace comes from well i just want to say that i'm really impressed by the message that you're sending to the world of unity and peace no matter what religion a person is and that love is the most important thing that brings people together through dancing laughing eating together at a table whatever what i just want to say is just Always try to be kind to those, to those who care about you, that are around you, and you shouldn't take them for granted, yeah. and spread love. Um, I would just like to say everything is God's will, and it will happen, um, regardless of the state of the world. Love you, A9. Hi, A9, A9 TV. TV. Keep up the good work.